No, I came out this morning and on the way to the cafe and uh, I noticed something wasn't just quite right. Upon further investigation, I looked at the front grill of my uh, bus here, the Rat Diamond, and Chucky was gone. He was gone. He was. Well, they left the bride of Chucky. She's still with us. But Chucky was right here, locked. You know, I made sure uh, he wouldn't go anywhere. So I locked him up real good. And uh, somehow he got out of the lock. It was taken. attached to this Chucky. Never lost a dog or cat in life. Childhood maybe. But this is just a doll. And I didn't hear that. What do you think about somebody lost their dog? Well, I, you know, I can relate, obviously. The dog will love you. Be your best friend. Chucky will. Kill you? Is that what you want to say? Kill you? Yeah. I don't think he's that. Who do you think might have done this? Well, if he didn't get away on his own free will. Hard to imagine. Hard to imagine. Matrix. When in Rome. 
Eat like the Romans. Yeah, we're dressed like Okay, so we'd have to float a $35 million bond to build this thing that would take five years. But it depends on how well the shipping and cruise businesses actually do. Okay, the entered Goldman Sachs, they were unsolicited. In other words, they brought this whole idea, you know, to the team. I mean, Goldman Sachs, gosh, international bankers. Oh my God. Apparently, the trustworthy Goldman Sachs wants to come in and finance the construction of a huge port for cruise ships and large container shipping. This during, this during the time when cruise ships, ships and large container shipping are soon, soon becoming obsolete. about Goldman Sachs, from what I've learned, um, they, when you say you have a lawyer, I think they have more lawyers than <laughs> in the <whole> county, <laughs> um, which I think is about 250,000 roughly. Um, I would urge, and I'm glad to hear, well, I don't, I don't mean I'm glad to hear, it's not working out, but I'm glad to hear it's <laughs> not working out with them. Uh, because from what I've learned, they're pretty shady and they're business feeling. Um, I would urge you to look at what Goldman Sachs has done with other public infrastructures and how they uh, advised and managed the resources in other public situations. I found one example, uh, which was Montana Power and Light, which was a small power company in Montana. Uh, the residents of Montana had some of the lo lowest electric bills in the lower 48, mm -hmm. and uh, the shareholders of this company got regular dividends for their investments. But then they were advised by Goldman Sachs, and they ended up with their assets divided, sold off, and the company left bankrupt uh, from insurmountable debt. And uh, the idea here was that Goldman Sachs was advising both the investors and the power company. In other words, they, they, they're just everywhere. They're, they're ubiquitous. And their main interest, of course, is to their shareholders and, I guess, secondarily their customers. But um, they often have a conflict of interest in the, um, in the project. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, just to rattle off some of the things going on in the mortgage uh, situation, um, they were basically selling securities on one hand and with their own money shorting the market on the other. And so they made a fortune uh, for their own shareholders, but their customers were pretty much lost a lot of money. They've been involved in the IPO stock fraud, naked short selling, gold price depression in order to mask the real inflation rate, uh, which is currently calculated by the measures uh, pre naked in the 1980s at over 10% inflation rate now. Uh, if you like current economic policy, the uh, federal uh, or the Secretary of the Treasury, Paulson, is from Goldman Sachs, former Treasury Secretary Rubin. White House Chief of Staff Joshua Bolton, current World Bank Head Robert Zolich, all Goldman Sachs. Uh, the Chairman of the New York Fed, Goldman Sachs. Uh, the Chairman of the New York Stock Exchange, etc.